What's up everyone, this is Cybernight, and today we finally got the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Sacred Beast Structure Deck. Yes, this is finally out in English. If you guys remember, it's been a few months ago this came out for Japan. I did an opening on it too, and I've been looking forward to this structure deck. I mean, the nostalgia is there. Sacred Beast actually gained some really good support. I'm not saying tier one, they're wiping out everything, but actually some decent support and good reprints in the structure deck. Of course, you get the same cards in each of these structure decks, by the way. It's not random, but I still want to show you guys what to expect from it. And again, it's a freaking... Sacred Beasts. I mean, could, I, I gotta make a video on this. And I'm also gonna do a deck profile. I just need to hunt down two more of these because Konami sent me one of these for this video. So thank you to them. I wanna make sure that is up front. And here is the card list and all that too. And I'll probably be able to go to town tomorrow, which I'll wear my mask. Everyone be careful out there. I know. I'm going to be your dad, right? <laughs> and, um, yeah, just be safe out there. And I'm going to pick up two more of these and build a deck using three of them. And I might do a more competitive build too, but I do know I want to do a $30 build. So let's go on ahead and uh, get to this. Let's just stop talking about random stuff. Also, though, if you guys would like this video and leave a comment and all that, I would greatly appreciate it. I've heard that leaving comments helps support uh, my channel as well and will help the videos do better. So if you can take some time to do that, I would, again, greatly appreciate that. And basically here, which one's your favorite sacred beast? We'll make that. Let me know. I, I kind of wonder what's going to win. For me, I think I like Come On the best. But I don't know. Let me know. Even though out of the actual god cards, Obelisk is my favorite. So... But it's also one of those things where it's not like I have a least favorite because they're all... <laughs> they're evil god cards. I like them all. <laughs> but there you go. There's like the new artworks basically for different cards. It's not actually altar arts for them though. I kind of wish they actually got new altar arts in this. But they have new cards to help summon them easier. And there's like showing you the new cards. Even showing you they got a new like fusion card for Armatile. Which you actually get in this, by the way. And even some other cards you get from other, like, booster packs, Mega Tins, and, and things, too. So, I feel like if anyone remembers Sacred Beast from GX, and maybe they're out of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now or something, and they see this on the shelves, they're going to buy it, too, by the way. <laughs> There's, like, a little card thing you get. And uh, let me get through this plastic real quick. I hate fighting through that plastic, so I'm just like, there. I always edit that part. Also, check out my TCG Player account, by the way. Um, I'll have it where it'll take you to this. So if you're just looking for a couple cards from this deck, um, yeah, if you use my link or the code Cybernet, help support me. Okay, enough selling out. All right, let's go through the structure deck. <laughs> anyway, we have Raviel, Lord of Phantasms, uh, Shimmering Scrapper, which is kind of a weird name. But yeah, he's basically to help make Raviel stronger, the original Raviel. So he's not like he's not like a redone version or an alter art. He's actually just a way to help the original. Then, of course, we have Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. I love how all these ultra in this, by the way. So this is the original card. You know, it's the same effect from back then. Haman, as well, Lord of Striking Thunder. And then Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. See, you still get Raviel. It's just this, like, you can discard him and power up Raviel with the, the new card. So he's still same effect, same thing. Although, again, I kind of wish all three of them would have got alter arts, even though I like the original ones, too. Armatile, of course. Armatile, the Chaos Phantasm. The fusion of all three which I love this card too. <laughs> then we have Cerulean Skyfire. This is a super rare that you get. This is a card that has that new Haman artwork, and it's basically a better way to bring out Haman. Yeah. <laughs> Each one has like their own card that does that. And same with this, Hyper Blaze for Uriah. Again, it has good effects to go along with it, but basically it's a way to help you get out Uriah easier. So <laughs> not much else to say. Dimension Fusion Destruction. This is made, of course, to... This is like your polymerization. I guess the best way to sum it up. Help bring out Armatile. And it's not that tough either. Then we have Chaos Core, another one of the new monsters. This one's kind of one that you can easily get on the field and get, like, I guess to help you bring out Raviel a little easier as well. Then Dark uh, Beckoning Beast. I believe this is the, is this a searcher? Yeah, this one helps you out, like, searching for what you need, like Uriah, Raviel, or Haman. Basically, you know, you're searching for your sacred beasts and stuff. Then we have Chaos Summoning Beast. This is another one of the newer cards. This one makes it easier to bring out the Sacred Beast. Basically, when he's on the field and you have one Sacred Beast in your hand, you could just get rid of it, send it to the graveyard, and then whatever Sacred Beasts that you have in your hand, you get to summon one of them. So it could be an instant Raviel, Haman, whatever. You know, <laughs> it's, it's probably my favorite in the new cards because it makes it stupid easy to bring them out. Dark Summoning Beast, I, yeah, this is one we got from Dol Saga already. So, yeah, it makes sense, though, with everything. Phantom of Chaos, then other reprints. Sky Blaster, that's a good reprint, by the way. Mad Reloader. Uh, Rainbow Dark Dragon. Trajodia, it's pretty good. Uh, Radian, wasn't that... Wasn't that in something else reprinted lately? I don't know. It's a kaiju, though, so it's always good. <laughs> Let's see. Chaos Hunter, Puppet Master. 
Yeah, even get Farfa. Make a, he make an appearance on my YouTube channel, I guess. There you go. <laughs> Shout out to him. Danger Chupacabra. That's probably another pretty big reprint. I don't know if these were too expensive, but yeah, it helps. Then we also have Opening of the uh, Spirit Gates. It's another one of the newer cards. Um, basically, it makes it easier to get everything you need. <laughs> That's what this card is. Helps you set up. Continuous spell card for Pramon as well. Yeah. Fallen Paradise is their field spell. What I love about this card, too, it helps protect them, but when you have one of the Sacred Beasts on your field and you have this field spell out, you get to draw two cards. It's like a little pot of greed also in it. It's pretty dang awesome, actually. And some Martyrs, I remember that from back in the day. I think that, yeah, if you had, like, Haman and Uriah, it made it easier to bring out Raphael. Spell Chronicle, Terraforming, always good, set rotation. Mount of the Bound Creator, mainly this is for the God cards, but it works pretty well with Sacred Beasts, too. One for one, beginning of the end. Pot of Desires, good reprint. Owner Seal, pretty good reprint on that, too. Anything else that's kind of... <laughs> Mystical Space 7, of course. <laughs> then we also have Awakening of the Sacred Beast. This is another one of your newer cards. Again, really good for Uriah, Continuous Trap, you know. But also, too, I love this card because whenever you have a Sacred Beast out and you have this, uh, the more Sacred Beasts you have, the more effects you're getting. But also, when your opponent summons a monster and you have this set up with a Sacred Beast, you're gaining life points by the attack of the monster they summoned. So you can gain some stupid attack, or stupid life points, I should say, excuse me, just from that, <laughs> which is pretty funny. I've used it against the deck that was, I think it was Blue Eyes, and it helped me gain some life points, so it was pretty fun. Uh, Skip for Dark Dimension, good reprint, also very good in this deck, too. Shape Sister, Custom, Mistake, Dark Factory. You also get a uh, Phantasm Emperor. Yeah, we got him, is Dual Power? It might have been Dual Power that he was in. So yeah, you can get a hollow version of this fairly easily. Another good one if you want to use him. And then you even get a couple of tokens. You get the Phantasmal uh, Martyr token, and then the Phantasm token, which I like the token cards we get. Also get a little advertisement for Duel Links. Oh, there are several. Oh, this one's for Legacy of Duelists, and then even for Legendary Duelists. Dang, they have a few advertisements, but I kind of like these because I like the artworks. I like kind of that structure deck artwork. It's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's the structure deck. I hope you guys have enjoyed. What do I think about this one? Is it worth picking up? All right. If you want it for the nostalgia, if you love Sacred Beasts, you don't have to listen to me. You bought this already. That simple. Okay? You can buy three of this. You can build a Sacred Beast deck that's going to be a lot of fun to play. Will it win the big tournaments for you and all that? I really doubt it, but it would be fun to play. I mean, I'm enjoying myself. I've been playing it online, of course, because, again, quarantine, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Although, sometimes they can kind of brick as well, because there's so many high-level monsters. But I enjoy using them. Uh, now for a person that's looking for maybe just a couple of reprints, maybe they don't really care about the nostalgia of the Sacred Beasts. Um, there's some good reprints, but honestly, if that's what you're really looking for, you could just buy the singles. I mean, I, that's what I would say. But I, I don't see who would do that with this one because I feel like this is worth getting because it's Sacred Beasts. Again, I never thought they would get a structure. I never thought they would get new support. And it's just maybe my nostalgia talking, but I love this structure deck for that reason. So... Uh, I'm a big fan of it. I'll be honest. I'm biased probably towards it. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. I love the Sacred Beasts. This product feels like it was made for me, honestly. So I'll just admit that right here. But let me know what you guys think about this. Of course, like and subscribe, like I said. Leave a comment, of course. Tell me which one is uh, your favorite Sacred Beast. Stay safe out there, of course, too. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.